How many times have you heard, want a bigger chest? Then you have to bench. But this is actually pretty good advice because we know that the bench press is highly effective at growing the chest. In fact, when we look at recent papers that track an individual's bench press strength and chest growth over time, we see a strong positive correlation between. If we look at the numbers a little more closely, we can actually see a few instances where despite some subjects being able to bench significantly more weight than another subject, they didn't seem to have any extra chest growth to show for it. And similarly, other instances where two individuals with the same bench press strength experienced a whopping 30% difference in the resulting growth of their chest. Just meaning that some individuals just don't seem to respond as well as others do when it comes to growing their chest with a bench press. Genetics can play a role in determining this, Research clearly indicates that you can quickly improve the resulting chest growth you experience from the bench press. The first step has to do with opening up your chest so that you can actually use it more effectively when you perform the bench, as if you were gonna pinch a pencil between those blades. This then naturally creates a slight arch in your upper back with space between your back and the bench, and it's a position that you need to maintain as you're pressing. Based on biomechanical analyses of the bench press, we know that it also increases the involvement of the chest in the movement by preventing the front delts from rounding forward and taking over. Because the more you let your shoulders round forward and chest cave in as you press, like I'm doing here on the left, the more the tension is going to be shifted away from the chest and onto the front delts instead and getting more upper back mobility in your thoracic spine so you can keep that chest up and out and that upper back arch back as you press. And one great dynamic stretch to help you achieve this are snow angels on a foam roller, where you lay vertically on a foam roller with your head and butt supported and your shoulder blades pulled back together. Then you simply perform snow angels with your arms, slowly rotating up as far as you can while keeping your hands touching the ground for around 20 to 30 reps. And then as your mobility improves from this, for an even deeper stretch, you can start adding weight to your hands like so with your arms held at 90 degrees. In the bench press properly with the form I previously went through, chances are you still aren't using your chest as much as you could be. Journal strength and conditioning research, even well-trained athletes were able to boost the activation of their chest by 22% by simply using a few chest activation cues during the bench press. And given that a recent 2018 paper by Dr. Schoenfeld has indicated that boosting the neuromuscular activation and mind to muscle connection with your muscles as you train them leads to significantly greater growth, it's important to understand what the chest does in the first place, which is mainly something called horizontal induction, and it's simply the act of pulling your arm towards the midline of your body. So whenever we perform the bench press, it's a horizontal induction and the movement of our arms together that's activating our chest and as a result of presses the weight up. Point A at your biceps and point B at the inner part of the chest that you're holding. All you're going to do now is simply bring point A to point B by contracting that chest that you're holding in order to pull your arm in to bring the two points together as close as possible. As you do so, avoid letting your shoulder round forward. Instead, you want to keep the shoulder pinned back by retracting your shoulder blades. And as you're doing this movement, you should be able to feel your chest contracting with your other hand. Once you get this down though, next you want to bend your arm as if you were doing the bench press. And again, just think about bringing point A to point B to fully shorten that pec. Now you simply perform the exact same motion we previously did, again just thinking about pulling the biceps inwards. Then when you get to the middle, hold this position for 10 seconds or so while contracting and using your chest to prevent your arm from being pulled away. But before lowering it, pre-activate your chest by thinking about bringing your hands inwards and pulling your biceps in towards each other. Obviously your hands won't move as they're stuck on the bar, but this will just help you engage your chest. On the way up of every single rep, I want you to just think about pulling your biceps together. So focus on points A and points B that we previously went through and just think about bringing those two points together every single rep. Now I'll be lifting will likely be considerably lighter than the weight that you may have previously been lifting. But this is exactly what we want. You've effectively minimized the involvement of your front delts and incorporated more of your chest instead, which is undoubtedly going to lead to much better chest growth in the long run, even if you have to use lighter weight. So guys, I hope you're able to see that if you want to see the best results and build muscle in the right areas, then you need to be activating the right muscles during all of your exercises and executing these movements optimally. 